Hello and welcome to this After Effects Basics tutorial about previewing your work. Now I've got a composition in here, we've seen this composition in the previous one and it's actually got some music and it's got this layer that says background C which actually has some C sound on it so it's actually got noise. So you'd have thought that when I would play it in the normal way of hitting my spacebar to start and my spacebar to stop you'd have heard the music and you'd have heard the sound. OK, so let's try that. I need to select my composition either up here in the composition panel or down here in the timeline. So if I just click here, make sure I've got this gold bar all the way around it, this yellowy orangey gold bar. And now if I hit the space bar to start and space bar to stop, let's listen for the music. And as you can hear, nothing plays. That's because when you do a standard preview, you can't hear the music and you can't hear any sound. Now there is a panel up here that says preview. Notice. And this button here, play, pause, is exactly the same as hitting your spacebar, plays and stops. So if I click that, again, no sound. It's exactly the same as play and pause. And notice you've got an arrow here that says first frame. The equivalent on your keyboard is to hit the home key. If I hit the home key, it goes right back to the beginning. And also we've got one here that says last frame which would take me to the end of my composition and the keyboard shortcut for that is to hit the end key that takes me to the end of my competition so home to the beginning end to the end or alternatively you've got these buttons up here and you've got step backwards one frame and step forwards one frame so you can preview up here or you can hit your space bar to start and stop that's really great but I can't hear my music now if I just want to hear my music all I need to do is hit the full stop key not on my main keyboard but on my number pad. If I hit the full stop key on my main keyboard, I'm going to be zooming into my composition monitor. And the way to zoom out again is to hit the comma key next to it. So let me just demonstrate that for you. So the full stop key zooms in on my main keyboard, the comma key next to it zooms out on my main keyboard. And once you've zoomed in and out and it's not fitting properly, you go over to this little drop down down here, where it says at the moment 50% for me, which is the magnification ratio pop up drop it down and go up to fit up to 100% and then it fits into your composition window no matter how much you change it around. But if you want to zoom in manually you can hit the full stop and the comma key on your main keyboard. If you just want to listen to the music and the sound you hit the full stop or the point key on your number pad. So I'm going to hit the point key on my number pad and hit the full stop key to stop again. Did you notice that when I hit the full stop key to stop again, the current time indicator immediately jumped back to the beginning? Now if I wanted to queue up a piece of music, that wouldn't be very helpful because what I'd want to do is get to exactly the right place and then hit the full stop key or the space bar and it would stop, but unfortunately it doesn't. Let's try that again. Let's say queue here and jump straight back to the beginning. What you actually need to do is you need to set up a marker. So if you're trying to cue to a particular note on your music, you need to set a marker on your music layer. So what you do is select the layer that you want to put a marker on. You can have a composition marker as well, but I'm just showing you the layer marker. And then you listen to your music, and when it gets to the appropriate point, on your number pad, hit the asterisk key. Just at that point, and it will set a marker. You won't see it immediately, but when the composition stops, you'll see the marker. So let's say... I can't really hear my music unfortunately, so let's just say for argument's sake three seconds was just about where I wanted to, to make the change. So I'm going to hit the full stop and then when I get to three seconds, which is just say a particular note I wanted to hit, I'm going to hit the asterisk key and then hit full stop key to stop again and let's see what we've got. There you go. You can do it by listening to it, put the headphones on, get in close, hit the asterisk key and there you've got a marker. And if the marker's in the wrong place, just right click on it and you can go delete this marker and it's gone again. So that's how you can set that up. But of course this isn't the best way of doing it. What you really want to do is you want to see the video moving. Because if you notice, when I hit the full stop key, you hear the music but nothing's happening up here in the composition window. 
What I really want to do is I want to be able to see the sea moving, hear the music and see the whole thing together. Now up again here in this preview panel, notice that after you've got the turn the audio on and off and you've got the loop key, you've got this little icon at the end which if you hover over it, it says RAM Preview. Now RAM Preview is a way of taking all of the information in your composition and putting it into the RAM in your machine and then playing it back, including the music, so you can see the whole thing. Now there is a problem with RAM Preview and that's really limited to the amount of RAM you've got on your machine because if you haven't got a great deal of RAM on your machine then it's only going to be able to store a certain amount in RAM and then it's going to stop. So if you've got a very complex composition with an awful lot of things going on and you haven't got a great deal of RAM, what you're going to find is you don't actually get very much played back. So RAM is king with After Effects. The more RAM you have, the better it's going to be. Now this machine only happens to have 4 gig of RAM, but this is a very simple composition so it's not actually going to be a problem. But RAM is king, particularly when you've got a highly complex composition, which you'll get to sooner or later. Now RAM Preview also has some very important options and that is these buttons underneath. You've got something called Frame Rate, Skip and Resolution. Now at the moment it says RAM Preview Options. So I can change the frame rate that it would play back at and I can choose if it's going to skip any frames and the amount of resolution so that the lower the resolution, the more frames I skip, the less frames I play the more I'm going to be able to see of my complete composition. However, obviously it won't look perfect. There is always compromise. Now I'm on a PAL system which is 25 frames per second and taking it down to 15 frames per second probably isn't a really good solution. And that would be great if you're working on 30 frames then you can have precisely half but precisely half of 25 is 12 and a half. There isn't an option for that so generally speaking I don't change the frame rate However, I do change skip, and when I drop this down, I've got options to skip one frame, so play every other frame, or to skip two frames, so play a frame, skip two frames, play a frame, or skip five frames. So I can actually change this here, and of course, if I just skip one frame, my RAM preview is going to play twice as much as it would have done if I wasn't skipping anything. And if I skip two frames, then I'm going to get three times the length, if you like. Now that's great, obviously I don't quite get the quality but I do get a good indication of what's going on and if you're previewing some animation or you're previewing something that can be a really good way of working. I'm going to choose one and then here it says resolution. Now resolution is set at automatic and it lets After Effects choose but sometimes you can turn around and say you know what I want to have a long RAM preview, I want to be able to see what's going on just to get an idea of what's happening and the resolution isn't desperately important I just want to see how the animation looks so therefore I drop my resolution to say half and dropping it to half it'll play back it won't look as clear but I'll get more in my RAM preview so RAM preview and all you need to do then is click this button and there is a keyboard shortcut it is the zero key on your number pad. So we've got the point key on our number pad just to play back audio, but if we hit the zero key on our number pad what you'll see is it'll start to work through and where this greeny blue bar up here is you'll start seeing particularly here there'll be a little green mark and a space, a little green mark and a space showing that it's going to render every other frame. So I'm going to hit my zero key and what it's going to do is it's going to go all the way through the composition and then it's going to go back and play it from the beginning. So hit my zero key So that's how we can do a RAM preview. Now there is one other option with RAM. If you notice that RAM preview options has got a drop down, you can drop down and it says shift RAM preview options. And if you click on that, you can set this up. I've got this set up to skip every two frames and I've moved the resolution down to a third. So the playback quality is gonna be very low, but I'm gonna be able to see more of my composition, particularly if it was a complex composition. So how do I do a shift RAM preview? Well, all I need to do is hold shift key and zero on my numpad. So shift and zero. And did you notice that the spaces were far wider? Now there's another button down here which says full screen. I found this when I first discovered it as brilliant. I thought, oh, I'm going to use that all the time. But the truth is, when it actually comes to it, and when I actually have to do work, I actually end up finding this more annoying than helpful. But anyway, if you click full screen and then you do your shift around preview, it goes full screen. 
you might find that useful you know you've got the option and obviously you have an option here that says play it from the beginning of the composition or play it from the current time so that's the basics of previewing and after effects of course there are other bits and pieces which we'll cover as we go through the course but that should get you going on doing a preview a ram preview and a shift ram preview well i hope you found this tutorial useful my name's andrew davis and thank you for watching Thank you.